Roll a night on the town wouldn't do us any harm. Roll a night on the town wouldn't do us any harm. Roll a night on the town wouldn't do us any harm. And we'll all hang on behind. And we'll roll the old. We'll roll the old. We'll roll the old. And we'll all hang on behind. You good to go? Dude, yeah. we're some podcasting motherfuckers. We're live. Man. Yo, what up, everybody? Welcome to the, uh, the Pirate Podcast. <laughs> What's Welcome up? to the Pirate Podcast. <laughs> Welcome to Pirate we Radio. To call it later in the oh yeah, Pirate Radio. Arg. Yeah, we shout out to Pirate Radio, dude. Can we talk about fools and ghouls for a second? Yes, sir. Whatever you. What'd y'all think? Did y'all have fun? Did y'all have a good time? Or did it suck balls? It was amazing. It was good. good. Time. Great time. Was this Fools and Ghouls better than last year's Fools and Ghouls? Take it easy, man. Take it easy. I, I mean, I would argue so, but just for different reasons that I don't want to mention on the podcast. <laughs> not, not because of the women or anything. Oh, okay, okay. Just backdoor shit that I knew about that was going on between these. It was a lot more smoother. And I got you. I got you. I got a, lot, you. a lot more. It was chill. It was more chill, and it, it was more of us, you yeah. know, more y'all. It felt like a Maybe celebration. It was. I liked it. Yeah. This is what I'm going to say about it. Even though I showed up a little late, mm -hmm. when I did show up, the vibes were incredible. Because my vibe was off. I was tired. I woke up that morning at like 7 a.m. I went and golfed for like four hours. Right after golfing, I went straight to the Texas Tech game. Started drinking about 2 o'clock. And then I left the Tech game probably at like 9.30, mm -hmm. 10, Ubered home. Mm -hmm. Had to haul ass and get my costume on, get my face painted. And by the time I got out there, it was like 11. Yeah, you were there a little and late. So, dude, we were vibing. Yeah, was, when I got there, though, the vibe was strong. And it was, it just felt like good vibes, bro. Like, yeah. the definition of good vibes. Peace, love, happiness. It was definitely great. It was great. And, it, and honestly, it took me out of that little funk that I was in. Because I wanted to come with the vibes. And I didn't. And usually, I, I can come with right, the vibes. Yeah, absolutely. Nope, I didn't come with the vibes. But the vibe that was there... That was nice. It really set it off. That's what's up, I'll bro. say that much. Apparently, I missed out on some, a few things, but yeah, no, it was nice. Yeah, it was fun. The whole night was nice. I liked it. I had it a great time, man. Did I trip y'all out when I got there? Because I was trying to yes, surprise you guys. Bro. I didn't yes. want to tell you how much I was no, going in. Nobody told each other what our costumes uh, were. Yeah, like we were all trying to keep it a secret. Yep. Yeah. What did y'all think of the costumes? Dude, yours really, threw me off a lot. I really, really liked y'all. Yeah. Wow. Yours was great. Because it really looked like Batman. It didn't look like Chris Vargas. Yeah, I couldn't tell it was you at first. It didn't look like so. you at all. And I was, Kira didn't even know it was you after a while. <laughs> was, she didn't know it was me, bro. It was, it was so hard to communicate with you. Yes, because I couldn't, you couldn't hear, hear anything. Yeah. I couldn't hear anything. <laughs> and I, that was one of the things I said to y'all. I was like, hey, what's up, y'all? Uh, I can't hear anything, so I apologize. Because literally, like, it was just closed off right here. Yeah. Like, the only way I could hear was, like, if I pulled my nose out. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit to get some air in there. That's crazy. Dude, it was bad. But, like, the costume looked legit. I was having a blast. No, it looked dope. Because I was like, man, how many how many more times can I dress up as Batman? Exactly. How many, how many more times am I going to go to Halloween parties? Like, it's yeah. now or never. Which yeah. is why we was going so hard in the challenge, bro. Uh -huh. I was, one day I rode my bike like 11 miles. It was Hell ridiculous. Yeah, y'all yeah, killed it on the challenge. Just Both so I could get up in there. Yeah, and it exactly. Fit right. You know what I mean? And it did. It worked yeah, out. It worked out, man. Hell yeah. It was nice. Yeah, it looked crazy, bro. It was just throwing me off because I was like, this looks like fucking Batman. I don't know <laughs> who this guy is. You guys went all out, man. It was yeah. cool. Shit. And Roy looked pretty funny. You looked dope as shit. He did. Thank I, you. I was just, I should have went more serious. Make sure. You no, were there. you look you cool. Were there. You Honestly, were there. you looked really cool, especially in the video. Like I, I just, remember, I just remember you dancing. That shit was. There was because there was two people there that were dancing the whole time, and they were they the were they, they were like vibing. Time. And I would, Dude, I would, they were vibing. I would so run hard. around and then I'd go back and vibe with them. They were cool when, people, man. I shout out to them. When I was making the recap video, there's a line in the in the song where it's like, "You're such a strange girl." And I put Roy there he's like, dancing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Time. That, that's that's the part I was talking about. Yes, bro, he was getting it. Son. I was I was off the handy. I didn't even realize it. So you were, off the you were vibing. Son. I was because there's another <laughs> clip. There's another clip where I recorded you and Jen dancing together, 
And he was like, dang, Roy's feeling it. This boy was in the zone. He's on was, rhythm and everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was feeling good. It was a great time. It was a good chance to everybody that came through, man. Dude, I had was, a blast, man. That's a good movie idea. Could you imagine in a multi-universe where a native, a space cowboy, Batman, and Hunter S. Thompson <laughs> yeah, exactly. have to figure something out? I know. That's what I was thinking. It's like, man, we got to make skits with this shit. God, yeah, it was good. It was incredibly good. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready it, to make some skits, by the way. It was great. Boys. So you guys will say that it lived... It lived up to y'all's expectations? Definitely, yeah. for sure. Like, yeah. uh, last year, you know, I mean, not for nothing, but, you know, I knew you guys, but it's such a deeper level this past year. You know what I mean? It was like, yeah. this past year, uh, we've grown a lot together as, as friends, I feel like. And so, for us to be able to cut loose together at the Fools and Ghouls was really, really dope. The only way that it would have been better for me is, like, if I had no... Involvement, you know what I mean? Like yeah, if I yeah. just showed if you didn't up, have responsibility, was, right, if stress. I had no responsibilities, I just showed up and it was awesome. Yeah, that's the only other way that it would have been better, right? But other than that, like, I had a great time. The music, oh god, the music, Jen was on point, like, genuine. Because she asked me, Was there any songs that I wanted to throw in there? And I was like, I don't, I don't want any hand in it. I just like, I want to try to recreate as much as the original Fools and Ghouls that I went to as possible. And I didn't really have a hand in that. I had a hand in all the merch and all the promotion and all that stuff. But, like, as far as the music, I was like, I just want to come and I want to vibe out. And that's what it was, man. It was dope. So I'm really time. proud of the setup because I actually helped her do that. It was pretty cool. Yeah, man. It was, it was dope, man. It was, it was really cool. Doing that. Yeah, it was cool. I only wish that we had, like, more lights and, like, more crazy stuff. You know what I mean? That's the only other thing that I would say. But, Next like, year. Next the, year. I wish it would longer. Video, that's the only thing. The video that we played, the movie, the David Bowie movie, oh, the perfect, bro. The Hunger or something. Yes, it was crazy because they were like, "We're gonna play this movie," because you know we have the TV in the in the shop or whatever, and they were like, "We're gonna play this movie. It's just gonna be on mute. Like it's the volume's gonna be turned down, but the music that we're playing is gonna go with the video that we'll be showing." And I was like, "What? For real?" And it did, son. Nice. It really, really did. I don't know how she did it. But it worked. Like, every part. Because I would stop for a second and just kind of, like, you know, enjoy what was happening in the moment. And I would look over on the screen, and I'd be listening to music. And it was like, the there was that one Trippy Red song. And it was playing, and I was like, dang, this mug does go to the video. Like, I was like, good God. Like, this is incredible. Yeah. Who thinks of this? It's art. Yes, bro, it was beautiful, and so for yeah, and that's me, what it feels like. It just feels like artists, like a bunch of artists got together and they're just celebrating themselves, yes, bro. Absolutely, each other. It was wonderful. That's that, a perfect encapsulation of what it, it was. Really, freaking is, man. It really is like that kind of stuff. Like what we were feeling at Fools and Ghouls is the thing that I'm always looking for when I go to the first Friday art trail. Oh, when I go to the first yeah. Friday art trail and I'm there and I'm looking around, I'm like, they're saying, and I'm only there for like 30 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many people who aren't really artists, but they want to be associated or they want to be, they they identify as artists or whatever it might be. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And you can kind of see it when you meet them. And then there's other people who don't identify as artists, but they really, they truly are. Right. It's, it's a weird thing. It was cool, man. What and everybody had great, everybody had great costumes. Um, even the people that showed up in like all black, like your brother, dope. Him and his friend, I got to take a cool picture of them. I was trying to take cool pictures of everybody, but at a certain point, you know, I was vibing too hard. I was vibing way. Yeah, hard, I didn't get bro. a picture with Jen. I was so. I I'm glad know. that I got the one. <laughs> his photo bombing. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's what we were talking about with Jen yesterday. That we didn't get to do a snake pit. No. Well, because last year we did the Buddy Holly and the crickets yeah. one. I, I had wanted to do. There was a Nirvana photo I had wanted to copy, but we didn't get to do it. Bro, an incredible time. What was the best uh, part of the night for you, Bradley? Um, I don't know. I, I really feel like once once Swag showed up. I was like generally happy that like, you were there, dude. I know. Like bro. I was just I was, like I was bummed out dude, you weren't there, bro. It felt like <laughs> it felt like one of those nightmares where you're trying to get somewhere but you just can't get there mm -hmm. as fast as you can. Mm -hmm. And I'll say that that was one of the most epic days of, of my year of my life. That day was crazy <laughs> right. from dude, the very you beginning. Lot, right, like, you did a lot, bro. Because I played well on the golf course. I hit some shots that were like, wow. You know, but I was fucking tired. I started drinking really early. The tech game was a whole fucking blur. Like, 
Yeah. It was crazy, bro. And then uh, I knew the party was coming, and I wanted, I wanted to get there, but I knew like I had a lot of expectation on myself, right, about how I was gonna look because, as a, I don't know, as a grown man, it's fun to dress up. Dude, like, it really if is. If you're too bro. cool to dress up, then it's you're nice. then you're not really that cool. Right? No, 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 not at all. Because there's especially on like a Halloween costume party, like just a costume party in general, just go do it to the nines. You know yeah. what I mean? Like have fun with it. And see, I had a had a bad attitude. I'm not gonna lie. When I was showing up, I was just like, "Fuck, I'm late. They're gonna be mad at me." Mate, what if it's not? Do you popping? remember what I do? Because I posted the picture right, and it was fools and ghouls, right? And yeah. you commented, it was like fire, and I said, "Come be in the next one." See, I didn't see that till after, after the next day. But <laughs> yeah, when I showed up and I saw I saw Bradley. <laughs> and I was like, oh shit. Like, it was just, it was like, like you said, the next day you woke up in another timeline. <laughs> I felt like showing up, I was stepping into another timeline. Yeah. It was, it was the, dope, It was bro. the goodest of vibes. It was really cool, Is man. Is that a word? The yeah. best of vibes. Yeah, it was the best of vibes, man. It was cool, bro. Like, just genuinely cool. Like, well, I mean, it's very rare that I dress up. The last time I dressed up was. 2020 i was oh, kurt cobain yeah. but before that the last time i had dressed up was when i was like a kid kid so there's only been like two times in my adult life yeah. i've dressed up yeah. me too Cobain. honestly yeah. the, the past two parties that's that's yeah. the only time i've ever dressed up and you felt comfortable dressing up yeah i yeah, felt yeah. cool i felt fucking right. fun I felt like was i was dope, gonna be yeah. lame if i didn't dress up i felt like yeah. i was a fucking celebrity i don't yeah. know it's like yeah, it was legit what, what let me ask you this because uh you and kira went and y'all's costumes didn't correlate at all no but that was cool. Like, I was totally cool with it. Yeah, we're I both culturally her. appropriating people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. She, uh, she, she, had she the, killed it, bro. She, had she the boot. looked like Selena. She, she I loved had, it. Yeah, it was cool. I was like, dude. Bradley knew, Bradley knew right away I who she was. She, she had the boosty caca. Yeah, everybody dude. thinks you, she's Mexican. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, <laughs> boosty caca. Dude, she was doing it, bro. Like, I w- And see, d- just to be honest with you, because you, cause you brought it up, mm-hmm. I wanted her to dress like a slutty little Indian girl. <laughs> <laughs> I really did. did. I really did, and I tried my best to try to like convince her to do it, and she's like, yeah. "That's basic." Blah blah blah. Like, really? And I love Selena. Like, right. I mean, nobody's mad at it. I wasn't, I wasn't mad, mad at, at Selena. <laughs> I was like, hey, what was Jamie dressed up as? Because she came through. She was just she dressed had up fox at all? ears on. She just put on some fox ears. They were, okay, yeah, they were yeah, car, yeah. I guess. Jamie, she's cool girl. She's a cool girl. Uh, Who's that? But yeah, <laughs> yeah right. she's uh, swag the tall blonde. Friend. Yes. What was her name? Was I talking to her? <laughs> yeah, bro, you, you were, were gone, <laughs> bro. You were gone. I knew we were talking to her. We were, we were all. We were yeah. all. We were I was all surprised. Me doing sober October, and then that night, like really, really drinking. I was surprised yeah. I wasn't as more drunk than what I was. It was yeah. all glitchy because because I had yeah. a few shots of the Hennessy. Yeah, and I probably had Dude, a I'm total of like no twelve beers. Probably I had a white claw yeah. for the first time. Dude, Josh looked badass. He did, dude. dude he looked incredible, it. bro. Yeah. It, it last, the, I was it, bummed out. He I, wasn't wearing. Right a before you jacket. got there, <laughs> oh, <laughs> he yeah, told me he was like, he was like, I hope Chris gives me one. I was like, he's not gonna give it to you, but you should right. wear one. I yeah. thought he bought one the other night yeah. at the first Friday art show. I think he tried it on. It was, it, so the night up and right before you got there was it was cool, and then it started getting glitchy for me. Yeah, everything started becoming in patches, and that's what I remember. What was her name? Ro- What's the girl's name? Jamie. I just remember talking to her about her son, and then I'm over here, and then I'm over here. Dude, oh, yeah. I looked at Bradley, out. and then I woke up in my room. Yeah. Jesus, bro. Oh, my like, God. I saw Bradley, I, I fell on the you couch. You were that drunk? And I woke dude. up in my room like, oh, yeah, you were holding it together a lot better than last year. I was like, Fuck. Dude, you were way better than you were the last year. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Last year, everybody's getting shout-outs on the DJ stand. And that's because yeah. we had the mic. I should have been doing that. Right. <laughs> dude, <laughs> dude, I'm glad you did, bro. I don't, I, you disappeared, dog. I don't know where you you went batman was gone i, was I felt gone. like I everybody it, yeah. disappeared i felt like yeah, we're... the one complaint is they opened y'all should have closed the door had you closed the door we, we talked about everything it. would have been we, inside. we had a discussion yeah, the, only, the, only reason, out, right? the only reason that we the only reason that we decided to open the door was because it was getting hot and we were getting complaints that it was hot so we needed to open the door to try to relieve some of the because there was a lot of people all in one room all hot air you know what i mean so we had to open the door Some just to kind of let it breathe out, right? Yeah. But that caused other issues or whatever. But thank God it wasn't anything crazy. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, that's what arose from it. it. So that happened. But, I mean, it was craziness, but not as crazy as it could have been. There at the end? Unfortunately. Right, right at the end, yeah. But. Well, see, I saw it getting crazy. That's when I left. Yeah. That's when you left? Okay. All right. Yeah, I saw he was right that's there. That's when you yeah. left? Oh, that's right. Because you were outside. I went outside and I was you leaving. Were, yeah, that, right. Okay, so yeah, let's talk about that. <laughs> 
<laughs> my last, right. the last, uh, like, the last <laughs> memory I have of the party, mm-hmm. we're leaving, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm assuming that the guy who was yelling all stupid mm-hmm. was the one that started the bullshit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So I see this guy yelling all crazy outside, and I'm like, right. ah, it's time to go. Right. Can't be doing that over here right. on this side of town. And right. so we start Dang, leaving. He's a tiny dude. We start leaving, and the last thing I see is like. Roy in his, like a goofball in his in space cowboy outfit. <laughs> and he looks kind of sad and he's just like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 he's just waving goodbye. <laughs> dead, bro. I couldn't understand why you guys were leaving. It, yeah, at that point, I didn't understand. I was like, why are you leaving? You didn't he say looks bye. So sad. You didn't say bye, you bastard. You disappeared two hours into the, me no. leaving. Bro, you disappeared. I'm telling you. Yeah, I, was, I, was, I feel like I was everybody back, was gone. I was sad that you were leaving. I was like, oh. Yeah, he looks so sad and he was just in there in his white space cowboy. <laughs> Cowboy waving at me. Yeah. Meanwhile, that. meanwhile, that dude. one dude. I'm gonna talk about this. That one guy's over there talking about how he got stabbed and he's talking all crazy. And my brother's like, "Let me see, let me see." And he's like, "Oh, that stab wound is from a week ago." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was telling the story. I thought it was funny. I was like, "Man, bro, that was from a week ago." <laughs> yeah. Like, dude still got stabbed, man. Why are you downplaying that? <laughs> yeah, dude's crazy. That's dude, a whole different. Story. Did he get stabbed again? What's I want to know what happened. What's hilarious we'll talk about is. It later. is as the night gone on, so Roy's costume, he's a space cowboy. Oh, that's Roy's right. costume starts off like Zip, this. It right? starts zipping down more and more. As the night goes on, he's like this. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was almost naked at one point. Dude, I wish I would have took a video when I was we were like, leaving. zip that mug up, son. I should have took a video of the sad space cowboy whenever I was leaving. I just came back. He was just like, I just remembered that. Dude, all right. So See, there was one. In the car. Th- there was one time where I went back to the back because, you know, I wanted to make sure that people weren't you back, were back there. You were back there a like, lot. I wanted to make sure people were stealing stuff or, like, jacking stuff up. So I, I went back there, and this girl was putting her beers up and, like, knocked off one of the, uh, like, shelves or whatever, God right? damn it, Blondie. And so, is, is that the girl? I told her to put her beers back there, so yeah. Okay. So she knocked off. Was she wearing the bandana? Yeah, that's my friend Blondie. Oh, man. She was... <laughs> That's my she, friend, and I, I told cute. her to put the beard. So she yeah, was it was her. Cute. Shout out to Blondie. Blondie. Shout out to Blondie. She looked me dead in the eyes when I'm wearing my Batman suit. I fixed the shelf, right? And I'm I'm faded. I'm way beyond faded. I'm surprised that I was able to fix it the way that I was fixing it, right? Like I was like, oh, I didn't realize you were that fucked like, up. Did you drink candy too? I, no, but I, I you know I had some things, and I fixed it. And she looked me dead in the eyes, like with all sincerity, and she was like. I'm impressed. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, all right. Shout out to you, I'm good. You Shout out to Blondie. You should have just stared at her and then did your cape like that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you have those exactly. Drop a song on Fucking disappear. Yeah. That's a skit, by the way. You should have yeah. just, just ran out. <laughs> that is a skit. She, she was like dead serious. She was like, she was like pierced through my soul. Was like, yeah, turned like on he said, that's impressed. a skit. It should be a skit where like the guy who dressed up like Batman as Halloween, he has like very subtle Batmanish type of night. You know what I mean? Oh, where bro. he just like had it, bro. Does some it was shit. Wonderful. He disappear in the smoke every time. <laughs> but he's yeah, just doing beautiful. like some very simple shit, like fixing a shelf. Like it's not even that impressive. But she's like, oh my gosh. Yeah, dude, it was. Yeah, yeah, me, man. Can I, can I make fun of you for a second? Dude, I text my uncle. He's been talking shit to you yeah, all yeah, night. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Why are you freaking out over a spilled drink? Dude, because it wasn't just like a spilled drink. It looked like somebody, like a Yeah, but you act smurf. like you don't know how to fucking clean up a spilled drink. You were okay. freaking out, my guy. At Dude. the party? Yeah, right before All we right. Party. These Did girls you see just got... Yeah, it was the blue drink. I know. It was the you, ocean water. Was, a pack of was it drink? ocean water? Yeah. It felt like a gallon of ocean water. It was these girls. Look at this funny picture I took of them. Did you take... <laughs> Just look how much bigger I am. Though. It was like full too, dude. It was everywhere. I had to go back to the back, and I was like, well, dude, look at how much big. It was, look how little that girl is. Well, because I kind of <laughs> let me see this. Because everyone was dancing, and right. once everybody that happened, tiny. everyone it shut it just stopped. It shut it down. She looks like a little fucking tiny. troll or something. Who's this girl? Oh, dude, My she bad. does look like a she little troll. Her. Hilarious. No, they're cool girls. She's cute. Yeah, but it was her that spilled it. It was them. I should have made it. It was uh, Ramona. Yeah, I hated that. I had to clean it up because I was vibing, son. I was, I was in. Chris the zone. freaked out like he didn't know how to use a mop that at that point. That's my only. I'm just talking shit. Damn. We gotta, we gotta <laughs> cut this part out. But we can cut back in. All right, back. Yeah, I'll we're go. back. I'll tell go. me, like, tell me how the night times, started son. before I got there. Yes, bro. We had already been to space, son. Right, what did I miss? 
And just people gathering and Bro. sobriety. Me and Bradley from the jump, son. I needed it because I felt so claustrophobic. And then what was jacked up was like, after that, I was like, dang, this thing is suffocating my yeah. face. Yeah. Like, this oh, thing I didn't is even like, about that. I would have freaked it out. It's hugging my head, like, huh? Yeah, I'm in a headlock. Game? That's what it felt like. It was jacked up. Who won? I'm putting it back. It was halftime. Oh, okay. Like, genuinely, I was like, man, why did I do this? Because now I'm feeling all of it. <laughs> I was feeling super claustrophobic. I couldn't hear for crap. Yeah. But no, nothing got stolen? Nothing got stolen. Broken. Well, no. I take that back. Some scissors. Some scissors got taken. Why? You know what's funny? Know. Someone did ask me for scissors. <laughs> and I do. No. It was you. I said, gave them to him. I said, I don't know. That's all I said. <laughs> 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 Uh, All things accounted for. If scissors, no, serious, come on, man. Seriously, get... someone asked me for scissors, and I said, oh, I don't know where. Yeah. That I was be. pleasantly surprised, and I thought about this because I was kind of like, damn, what if like some real crack zombies stop by and try to fuck up shit? But the nights, Thursday nights, usually when we do podcasts there, there's no no issues at all ever. Right? No, not out there. They probably went to and the what's Mexican crazy party is like the guy that door. caused all the drama. He was actually the guy that was like, hey, maybe we should hide these shoes so nobody walks off with them. No, he's cool when he's cool, and then when he's not, it's horrible. He's cool when he's cool because I met him before, and he was cool. He's my pal. Well, he Is he was. really? He's like one of my really good friends. It sucks, bro. I hate that uh, it happened because I had to go back. I actually and I went to the. Stuff. He lives down the street. I went to the party. Did with somebody him. fuck him up? Me and him went. No, bro. They should have. The thing is, I don't. I don't want to. I thought my like, brother I, was going to. Did you really? Uh, when I was leaving, that's why I was like, I gotta real? get out of here. Well, no, no, no. My brother's just clowning on him, and I, I was just like, if this guy says anything, my brother's gonna beat the shit out of him. <laughs> he should have, but I kind of wish that he would have, because it'd have been, you know, what I mean, did but the cops like, show you know, up? I, no. It all happens. It all happens the way it's supposed to happen. And it sounds like I left right at the right time. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't remember anything after. You were that. the sad space cowboy. You were sad space cowboy. I honestly I felt like you video. left, and it still went on for what. Probably like another 30 What time did you yeah. leave? Like 12. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, it, it went on. I think I got home like at 1. I, I just felt like everybody was gone. Like, I didn't see nobody. I just saw the dude in the parking lot talking stupid. So I was like, yeah, I got to go. Yeah. I, the only thing that I could take away from it was just like, we need... Sorry. We need to... <laughs> 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 it's an sure it's 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 empty bottle. I drank <laughs> it. It's good. It's good. All right. The only thing I could take away from Fools and Ghouls was, number one, first off, shout out to everybody who purchased uh, some Fools and Ghouls merch. Yeah, that's... Uh, that was really, really cool. It was cool to see it on people. It was cool to have people tag us in it. That was really cool. Shout out to Y2K Hotties. Those Polaroids were beautiful. Were they? I Genuinely beautiful. I felt like we pissed them off a lot. Do you really? Why? Because we kept using their light and they were acting all... The one picture we got that was really good was on my phone... From that them. was a badass I asked, picture. I asked them to take a picture on my hey, phone with their background. That's nice. a badass picture. Dude, by it the came way. out great, bro. That should be the next fucking cover of. It could be the cover of this, right? Yeah, for sure. Anything. It was, it was a great photo. I think moments like that are really cool for us because we are four dudes coming from all different walks of life that have come together to form a Voltron of podcast. You mean we're not all Mexicans from the South Plains? We're all Mexicans, but we're all different types of Mexicans. Oh, yeah, that's true. It makes I'm coconut. Like <laughs> we're all different archetypes of Mexicans. <laughs> <laughs> you got your long hair right here. I'm the hippie. I'm the hippie. You Mexican. got your respectful, well-raised, straight-A student, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> got your degenerate, Chris Bark. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you got the streetwear man right there. Streetwear man. Oh, and you have the gross. guru. There you go. The shaman. The shaman. The shaman. The shaman. Mm-hmm. There we go. Hugs but yeah, man. And drugs. And and that's that's one of the most beautiful things about our friendship, honestly. Like it just happens to be that we're Mexican. I don't think yeah, that no. it, it mattered. No, like, because, it was never no, a thing. Yeah, because we're I would say we're very non stereotypical Mexicans. Or Fuck we're not no. even Mexicans, dude. Right. Hey you wanna see you wanna see a stereotypical yeah, Mexican? I'll show you one. Puro Mexicanos. This, I think this I should have sent Hell this to nah, the we're really not. <laughs> this I, is a stereotypical Mexican. I should have sent this to Josh. Oh that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Put it closer to the mic. That's stereotypical. <laughs> Bro, go is that guy next year. <laughs> I thought about it. I was like, yeah. You would pull that off That'd pretty be hilarious. I was, I, was the cobra. I was telling Roy and Jim that by next Halloween, 
uh, if I really slim down and gain as much muscle as I'm going for, mm -hmm. I really, by that time, I want to shave my head uh -huh. and be Bane next year. Hell Dang, yeah. Dang, son, dude, dude, going all bad. out, son. Yeah. Dang. I've always okay, wanted okay. to do it. Can so. we talk about, can we talk, oh, what were you going to say? No, I was just going to say, can we talk about why we chose the costumes that we chose? Oh, yeah. All right, so why did you choose to be Hunter S. Thompson? Uh, I think I was looking on uh, Rayban.com to look at some uh, sunglasses. Mm -hmm. Originally, I was going to buy, like, the actual the Ray-Bans. Yeah. Originally, I was going to get, they? like, 150 160 Dang. But it, it just popped an idea. And then on top of that, uh, we had, me and my brother had Watch Fear and Loathing. Uh, for the f for the first time in a while, mm -hmm. and on top of that, we uh, did that podcast where we had the Singapore slings. So it kind of just you know, right? It felt good. It yeah. felt like it was mm -hmm. a moment. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Uh, Why did you want to be a space cowboy? Because he is. A space <laughs> I, I am, but no. Uh, <laughs> not much He's like y'all. Prior prior to like last year, or even was I something last year? Oh, you're a priest. You're a priest. Uh, I really wasn't into Halloween, like dressing up. I thought I was too cool, and, and it, it all stems from a childhood memory where I got scared as a child from uh, talk about a it. man chased me with a chainsaw. Did he really? Yeah, when I was like eight. Was it a real chainsaw? Yeah, but oh, it was wow. like he was kidding, but it was a right. real. You didn't know that he was kidding. No. Oh, wow. And I hated Halloween up until recently where I started, like, <laughs> you were traumatized. partying, and then I was still thought I was too cool, but then I was right. like, this year I was like, you know, it'd be lame not to go or something, and then I'm lazy. I didn't want right. to go all out like Swag did. I'm, like, I'm late. Dude. I'm too lazy. So I bought a, I just was like, what's something cool? And Amazon suggestions, the algorithm's right, because it suggested me the space cowboy, and I was like, fuck it, I'll be a space cowboy. I mean, That's a perfect costume. I'd be a space cowboy if that was real. You know, yeah. so yeah, was like, it was dope. Okay. I, I liked it. It was clean. It's easy, simple. The sad space cowboy though, man, it got me. It got Hilarious. me in my feels like whenever I was sleeping, dude. Yeah, you shouldn't have left. <laughs> so, all right. So, what made you want to be uh, Comanche? Uh, so, let me tell you all this story. Let's see it. Back in kindergarten in Idaloo, Texas, we did a school program for Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. right? And so they said that a certain amount of kids would, would be pilgrims and a certain amount of kids would be uh, Indians. And I wanted to be an Indian so bad, you know, and I, and I thought I was the perfect Indian, you know. It's like I was the wildest one in the fucking class, had brown skin. I should have been the fucking Indian, bro. But you weren't. But yeah. no, they made me be a fucking pilgrim. They made me be a pilgrim, and I was the brownest Swiss. pilgrim ever. <laughs> and I was pissed, dude. I was pissed. <laughs> and that's why I wanted to be an Indian for Halloween, because I never lived that down. And so, and then also, I'm reading this book called Empire of the Summer Moon, and it's about can the I Comanches. Have you, when you're done? you can borrow it. It's not mine. I, I borrowed it. Have, uh, borrow I borrowed it. Did you ever see that episode of uh, King of the Hill where they're like, Did you ever celebrate Thanksgiving? And he goes, I've probably seen it. I've seen every goes, episode of King of yeah, the Hill. Yeah, we did. Once is <laughs> Jen, Jen got me into King of the Hill I never Dude, I never watched that's it That's hilarious <laughs> she, she started watching it And I started watching I like Dude uh, Freaking King of the Hill Is like Texas anime son Yeah so okay It's Alex Jones Chris and I Chris and I are older than y'all two And so for us Whenever we get home from school It was King of the Hill Something else, Simpsons. Was it, was it for you? Were you watching yeah. that? It was King of the Hill, that 70s show, and, and then The, the Simpsons. Simpsons. Yeah, I like yes. the 70s show. Yeah, and the, oh, all yeah. three of those were just top-notch hitters, bro. I remember always watching Cartoon Network, and then once it switched over to Adult Swim, mm -hmm. right. once King of the Hill started, I was like, oh, fuck. It's yeah, King so of the Hill. Yeah, now <laughs> I like it, yeah. but... Back, back then, then, you didn't get it. No. Back then, you were like... No, the now it's funny. Yeah. It was a lot of adult Apparently, humor. Like, the the wife she goes to Lubbock a lot in that in that show. Yeah, yeah there's right. a she, gets her boots she has fucking. big feet, so she has to go to. <laughs> yep, it's hilarious. Bro. Alex Jones is based on one of those characters. Yeah, bro, Bobby, Bobby Hill. I don't think it's Bobby, but no, it is Bobby. Is it? Yes. Nice. Yeah. It's hilarious. I wish somebody would call us and say, "Hey, we're gonna do hey, the animation." Can we're we? doing it. What's up? Look. Oh yeah. Shout out to the <laughs> Bobby Hill. That's awesome. Shout out to Beetlejuice. Oh yeah. So Club. anyway, they made me be a fucking uh, pilgrim, pissed right. you up, and I was and you pissed because some of my white friends they got to be Indians. <laughs> what the fuck? And I didn't think that made any fucking sense, dude. And so reading that book made me want to be a Comanche, and I really didn't feel like I went that all that out. Makes sense why you did the face paint. I feel like you I did, just huh? painted my face and can you pull put up on the headdress? 
I look like a real uh, fucking Indian though, right? People seem more afraid you of me. Where the headdress? Uh, Amazon. Damn, Pe- I want that. People seem more scared of me. Can I wear than, it on the podcast? Than expected. No. Bitch. Mm-hmm. I think I look good with the long hair. I got the name American hair. Yeah, you look good with it. But you put the headdress on, you can't see your hair, bro. You need to put that shit in braids and stick a feather in that dude. shit. Dude. Why'd you want to be Batman, Chris? Bro, <laughs> he was waiting honest, for us to ask him. Appreciate you. I've been wanting to be Batman my entire life. That was my the first time ever you've life. been Batman? That was my first time that I've been Batman in public. <laughs> <laughs> I like that answer. <laughs> yeah, he, he had his dun on. Oh, yeah. His for Batman sure, dun yeah. For sure. Because Ro- uh, Swag asked me a question, and I answered it that night. This is the first time I've been Batman in public, and it was beautiful. Genuinely. Like, especially that version of Batman, the nightmare version of Batman, where he's wearing that fucking cold-ass duster. Like, yeah. Dude. It was Did you already have that? It was my grandpa's, bro. Nice. It was my grandpa's, and I threw it on. Damn, I was going to ask you if I could wear it. I don't even want to. I don't care. Oh, yeah, well, cool. When I'm Bane, I could wear it, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was <laughs> cold, bro. It's a dude. cold dust. Might give me one of those. I remember when I was a kid, I put it on and I wanted to be a Jedi. And it was all big, you know what I mean? Now I've like grown into it, and it's like, yeah. It was that was cold. one of my costumes. I like how you weren't smiling at all either. Like, you just look like no. fucking Batman for real. Just like a beast. Yeah, the, something the about photos. it, like the eyes. There was something that I blacked was... out my eyes, bro. I had the fucking. Is that what it was? Uh, yeah. That's I, what was throwing yeah, me off. I, I put the black fancy. makeup grease on it. <laughs> yeah. So whenever I took it off, I was all emo or whatever. But yeah, yeah bro. Yeah, you turned into Robert Pattinson's Batman. Dude, <laughs> I was super emo, Confused bro. Confused me when you took it off. I was listening to something in the way. All week long, and my son was like, "Stop being emo." <laughs> That's what he said. I, I, I was like, "No, cause I'm Batman." <laughs> but he thought it was cool because I put it on uh, a couple of days beforehand just to make sure that everything was fitting or whatever. I was like, "Man, it looks really cool." I was like, "Man, I appreciate it." But it was just—it was a really awesome moment for me because I've been a Batman fan my whole life, like from the time I was a kid. Like, Batman is the superhero that I most resonated with. You know, my parents got divorced when I was five. My mom was always at work. So I was looking at my grandpa. as like he was like Alfred. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so for me, it was, a, it was a dope moment to actually just wear the costume. For sure. And be proud of it. And like just be chill. It was fun. I had a blast. I don't know what I'm going to do next year. Fools and ghouls. I know. That's how I feel. Pop. It's going to be hard to keep topping. It's hard to top, every bro. Every year. It's like I'm gonna super be, hard I'm going to be Cad Bane. From Star Wars mm-hmm. Cad Bane Yeah That'd be cool Oh somebody's son was Cad Bane I was like damn That's a fucking cool idea Star Wars character Swag I know you're too cool For Star Wars I love Star Wars I watch a lot you of like, Star you Wars know, yeah. You know Cad Bane We watch the like, shit Out of Star Wars But that's the one character I don't know who the fuck You're talking about You'll know I told Last night I told Roy and Jim that I think Fools and Ghouls Kind of helped me Make my decision Of staying in Lubbock To go to grad school That's what I wanted going. To talk about That's what I was Going to ask you So Bradley texts us and he's like, guys, I'm going to UT. I got to get my master's degree. And, and I, my initial reaction, I just want to be supportive. That's how I am. If anybody's ever talking about getting out of Lubbock or doing, getting out of anywhere, doing anything that's like adventurous, I always try to support them regardless of like my emotions or how regardless I feel about that person. Pussies over there. Yeah. Bro, yeah. I was bummed out when he said it, bro. I, know. I, I know, that's too. what I'm saying. I was, like, I was kind of bummed out too, but I didn't, want to, I didn't want to give that energy, though. <laughs> I know, no, no, no. But you know what I mean. I didn't want to put off that energy. I wanted to be supportive be because honest. I do support it. I do support it. I think it's a good idea. Anything. Mm-hmm. Anything that is going to make you get out of your comfort zone. But then Bradley, he he rebuttaled and he told us he's staying. Wrecking so tech, fuck baby. yeah. <laughs> Bradley's going to go to tech and get his master's degree. So Bradley... So Take it from he's there. keeping the pirates alive for yeah. a year. Shout out, Bradley. Bradley, well, you're, a crucial a, here's, por- you're a crucial part of this. Thank you. So, well, and here's the thing. I told I told this to Roy and Jen. I said, look, you know, it's very rare that you have a good circle of friends. Some people don't, their whole lives don't get that good circle of friends. That's true. I feel pity for them. And, you know, for, you know, to me, I'm, I was starting to be more like a realist to myself. I told myself, like, I need to be more real. Like, yes, that is a, a great goal to have to go to UT. Mm-hmm. But here's the thing. If I go to UT right now, one, I want to be a TA, which is a teaching assistant. Mm-hmm. But if I go to UT, I don't know any of the professors. 
So I'm just some kid from Lubbock. Like, yep. they're not, I don't know any professors where they're going to allow me to teach. I know professors here where I think, you know, they will eventually let me do it. Yeah. But on top of that, you know, for me being creative, if I go over there and get, you know, an apartment, I'm going to be working my ass off day and night yeah. to try to pay for that apartment. And I you guess for school wise, if I get in, get into UT, I would have to wait till this fall. Uh-huh. And then from there, do a two year program. Tech, I could pr- I could start this upcoming semester in January. Yep. And then from there, it's only a year. Dude, that ain't nothing. So I could just bust it out. Yep. Within one year. Bust it out. And he is gonna bust it out. <laughs> well, bust and then you know I did the radio at Tech, right? Uh-huh. I was, but I was just a volunteer when I did KTXT. And I was talking to the ops director who who does it right now, but she graduates in December. I was just asking her if grad students could do the radio. Yeah. And she said, yeah. But she also thought I was asking about her position, the, her position. And she goes, well, on the 10th, come over and we could talk about the position. And I was like, even grad students can can work on KTXT. And she goes, yeah. Dude. So. If I, I, I'm going to, I don't know if I'll get in, but I'm going to try to go for it yeah. and maybe get one of my jobs. I'll be a hell yeah. Be for the radio. So dude, that'll be badass. Promote us on the radio. Yeah. Yep. And so let's also talk about Higher the radio. project that we've been talking about. Uh, the script that you wrote. What about oh, it? Yes. <laughs> when is dude, production? let the people know. Can we talk about it? Yeah. Uh, so Bradley's been working on a script for two years. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so production, because there are seven short films in it, it's kind of going to be. It kind of depends on what happens because I'm going to take one film at a time, uh, and then pretty much once I'm done with one of the films, then start the other one, and then from there start another now one. Now answer this honestly. What's up? Are you working to include? Your friends in this? He is. I already told you. Well, like, you know this because none of us are fucking actors. Is what I'm saying. You would you pick us he, over a, he a guy who's roles. a skilled actor? I, I think he I, wrote the roles with us in mind. Yes. Okay. Yes. I'm excited to be on the screen. Yeah, Brad is gonna put us on. He's gonna put us on his his Have movie. That's so fucking dope. Being uh, again acting in it. I've I've had some people uh, hit me up. Uh, I forgot his uh, I forgot his name, but one guy who did a. A short film at Flatland. Uh, when we had that panel when I went up on stage with Paco, uh, he was up there. He's from Hobbs. He asked me about it, and I think, you know, he's going to help out direct as well because I mean it's a big project. Are you, so, you going to direct, or are you just going to let him do the, like the cinematography? Um, I'm kind of. I'll probably be more like a directing producer. Mm-hmm. Like I'll ha- probably have other directors do you really on wow. but okay. you know with right. i'm gonna tell them what exactly i want and kind of just let them so because there's two stories where i'm acting in there right, 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 right. so when i'm acting yeah. i kind of want someone else to someone, someone else to right. to <laughs> i'm gonna give it to him so right up his ass i'm, no homo. I'm the most excited to work on the project you that would. i have got to in yeah, I think that story is great. It's going to be awesome. That's going to be a great story. Are you going to do a watch I, party? I am worried, though, that I can't deliver the goods as an actor, if I'm honest. I think, yeah, me I too. Think you'd be all right. I'm so worried that I can't deliver the goods. Okay, so th- all delivering the goods means is showing up and doing your best. Because when I've done films, it's usually people that don't really act. Right. I've directed and so, other people, so I, I get that oh, much. Oh, you have, huh? Yeah, I have for the Desktop Chronicles. We got... So I, I have directed other people, but like when I look at, I think it's this this girl that, whatever. Anyways, she said to me one time I was a terrible. He's director. Bobby. Yeah, he's Bobby. And it just really bothered me, and I just haven't been able to get around it. Damn, she cut you deep. She really did. Ooh. For good reason, but whatever. She told you something. Yeah. Tell us. What the he fuck? No, it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she, what did, she said something like. And I know that like these things were said because of some things that I had done. Did she so say to your face? Yeah, oh. absolutely. Uh, and like those things, I combat against all the time. I don't know why they're so loud in my head, but they really, really are. And so I always think about them. And it's just yeah. what a bitch. I know. I don't even know what she <laughs> yeah. said, but fuck that yeah, bitch. Dude. I gotta go pee. It got me. I gotta pee too. What, what time? Can we, are we break? At? 
I don't know what's what, nine fifty nine ten. No, on the on the roadcaster. Oh, it's uh forty minutes. Oh yeah, we've got another minutes, twenty seconds. minutes. I feel like we've been talking past an hour, dude. I feel like we've been going in for real. <laughs> but yeah, no, that was a girl that I loved, and uh, yeah, it just it didn't go well. Oh, I thought I had one. Um, we'll, we'll change it up. We'll come back to it. Whatever. So in the film, mm-hmm. the one that um, that plays your wife uh-huh. on film, uh-huh. uh, the one that I originally wanted, she's uh, she's actually moving to Austin. Boo! <laughs> in so December. Who's it, who's it gonna be now? Um, she actually works for um, she works for KLBK. She's like a sports. Is she blonde girl. Is on the her? on the right. Is she the girl that worked with Connor? This one right here. Yeah. <laughs> What's her see. name? Uh, Lauren. Yeah, she she she. I, I when I did the ceremony, like when yeah, I was the priest, that was right. her. Yeah, I know her. That's right. That was weird. No, no, I have done acting. What am I saying? I was. Can we get a make out scene? Oh, I'm just playing. <laughs> between, be, <laughs> That's hey, what Chris was thinking. He ain't playing. You do kiss between her. Do it really? You kiss her once when you she's motherfucker. not in shot. <laughs> Let me kiss Chris. <laughs> Oh, no! Shit. Stop trying to kiss Let me. me kiss Chris. Just got deep. Let me go and kiss. Shit well, just got deep. I don't know if you remember, but in the film, when everything's cool, right? You kiss go, her when go, you walk go, in. Go. Whoa! And then when go. she's in the shock state of mind, yeah, you go in for a kiss, but she doesn't react to it. So. Yeah, I don't want it. Damn! Yeah, don't you get an emotionless kiss. pity. No, 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 no. <laughs> Hey, shout out to that girl. She's a subscriber. Even, no, good, she's, a subscriber. She's, a, she's a subscriber. Shout out to her. I like her. What's shout her out name? To her. What's her Lauren? name? Lauren. Shout out to Lauren. Lauren. Shout out to you. Lauren's a subscriber. Is Jen gonna be in it? Yeah. Who's she playing? Her name's Joan. Joan. We uh, in the um, in the show we do a, in the movie we do a podcast together. Nice. A movie podcast. The Bradcast. Uh, the Bradcast. Because in the film we're talking about. Um, an old movie called uh, That is crazy Can you so Can you close. pay attention To the game? fucking podcast I'm paying attention To the podcast Jesus Christ <laughs> Cause we're talking about Paige Vincent Just started Cause a video in the film there. I'm in like a de- de- Depressed state Because I had saw My sister Get killed and so I'm doing the podcast to get my mind Off things But while we're doing The podcast It seems like Everything's going well But while we're doing the podcast, we're going to film this at studio, uh, season three. I see my sister's like ghosts and I like freak out over it. And well, Jen has to like, C3. you know, like, like what's season wrong? Three's haunted. <laughs> <laughs> season three is haunted. Yeah. Every time <laughs> we're doing, one said, every bro. time we do the, that's the, the show, party there's popping. always that there's like a pop. Yeah. That happens behind us. Every time, uh, every time, it's the friars over there. At, like, no, no, bro. That dude <laughs> from like, Chavinia told me too. He's like, bro, I ain't gonna say that I heard some, but I ain't gonna say that I hadn't heard some either. I was like, what? It's but the rats from La Chavinia. I'm just kidding. That's your point, Chris's wife. <laughs> Chris's wife. You already know that's a mythical creature. I can see that really happening from my boy here. It doesn't exist, unfortunately. I can see that really happening for my boy. I already seen her do a kiss. Has she ever acted before? Yeah. Whenever I did the when I did the priest, you know, I did the little. When you did the priest, you nasty. You were Catholic. uh, Were you an altar boy? Whenever I did the little acting gig, like. Oh yeah. It was with her. That's how I met her. Oh, okay. She did a kissing scene. I was like, "Hmm." she ain't afraid to kiss. She ain't afraid. Ooh, you better write my boy in there. With some give tongue. Little, give her a little tongue is what I was about to say, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. But Bradley wrote himself a kissing what, scene. What is it? Y'all remember that? That's why my wife didn't want me to be it. Oh, yeah, I remember Bradley. <laughs> Bradley's kissing oh, scene. Yeah, that shit was hilarious, on dude. It's on YouTube, yeah. <laughs> yeah <it's> so great. <laughs> hey, uh, I loved it. Roy's going to put the link to Bradley's kissing scene. Remind me and I will. In, All right. in this episode. It's a very bad Why movie. We Y'all got to watch it, hey, though. since we're talking about it. I like how I'm, he brought, he's the one that showed us it, though. And I'm back on my Amen. shit because I'm not going to be drinking so much. We got to do some skits, man. Yeah, dude, we need to do some skits. We have a whole skit. I gave you all the footage. You could chop it up right now if you wanted to. No, we need to do like some comedic sketch. Sketch. What do you think that at was? At least we use some of that. At least we use some of that. Why'd you what say do you that? Think that was? What are you talking about? I don't even know what you. That was my what idea, was? by the way. The intro for lunch here. 
Oh. Why'd you say that's so sensual? What? You, why'd you say that's so sensual? Yeah. You're like, you could chop we it up right now. Clip. Yeah. <laughs> chop that <laughs> shit. Uh, chop it up. I got a guideline violation on TikTok. We got to do a new intro. Did what? you really? need some new music. Why? What is it? Actually, I'm going to go to the studio with the, the podcast. My tablet. music's good. Start recording. It, it must have been the song you used. No. Wait. Because I use Epidemic Sound and I paid for it. Yeah, I paid for my shit. Why do I keep getting copyright claims and guideline violations on TikTok? Maybe because it's not like, because um, when I used it, it's registered to you at the Chris Vargas, and not. That's what it is. What would you get thing. attacked for? But people oh, post up the, the music. We you know it sucks. People post up that same music on Epidemic Sound. They post it up on the actual YouTube all the time, and it's copyright free. So you could just literally clink. Like it's not necessarily. I'm not worried about that. Riff sounds like it's somebody's. I'm not necessarily worried about YouTube because we're not even getting paid. It's like when I do like TikTok shit, I'm getting my shit violated. I don't want to get fucking, you know, no homo. It's getting his shit violated. <laughs> but you know what bothers me? I like getting violated. Sometimes. It's like uh, that, that intro. Violated. That intro. It's, it's it's in bad quality. It's dope. No, I mean, no, no, no. I'm just saying like it's cool. Oh, yeah, it is cool. The way, we, especially how we just do it together. But how many people have complimented us on that? Bro, I, can I be honest? You should use that footage of you doing the fucking you know, you're spending the ball on your middle finger. It is hilarious. Yeah, there's know, a lot of good footage. I don't, I don't, okay, so this is this is what footage. I'm gonna say. This is what I'm gonna say. We should at least use that footage to make an even better snake or lawn chair imp- in intro. And guess what? I'm about to enter the studio with homeboy, uh-huh. so I can record my own goddamn music for the intros. Okay, so we can do that. Well, Hell homeboy. Yeah. From the podcast you said Yo, so studio. question I need to come I need to come When y'all are practicing But what kind of music Do you and Josh be playing? Crazy just, stuff Heavy just metal They just be ripping Loud metal Riffing But Now Now Jam that I'm session. Now that Yeah we've been just trying to figure out Like getting in a groove But now that I'm like Trying to actually be serious And focus up I want to be like Metal Like thrash metal mm-hmm. And What's the name and of He band? plays guitar right? He plays, he plays bass, bass. Oh, bass, okay. And then my other friend plays guitar. The and bass. Then Who's going to play the drums? I have a you need a drummer? Who, I have a friend who comes, but yeah, we need like an official drummer. I Dude, all your friends friend. come. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on no, no November. I, I've only been having sex. I haven't been... <laughs> This dude okay, was like, on. yeah, you can't have any of that stuff, but I'm going to go have sex. It's a Don't discipline thing. It's <laughs> a so discipline. It's no, a no, no, discipline no, thing. no, it's not. It's a discipline. It's so stupid. It's a discipline thing. You no. don't have the discipline and I hey, watch I wonder who's the horniest out of all four of us. You. I don't know if we want to talk about <laughs> 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 Okay, I win. <laughs> I definitely like making sex, but, you know, I'm not going to be. Would you whack it to your imagination? Is that the next I option? I have been, because I have been on the no nod. You come harder, right? Nah, man, it's just it's it's purely just to get my like. But no, but you don't come harder. Straight. <laughs> when you whack it to your imagination. Sex, sex without the nog was pretty awesome last night, so I'll give you that. Yeah, for sure. But it I'm was, saying whacking it to your imagination doesn't make you come harder. Uh, you need some. You need some better memory, son. It sucks. <laughs> I do it just to get my fucking mind out. All right. What do you think about old porn that I've seen? <laughs> oh, come and on. Sometimes sex that I've had. Lame. That's it. Yeah, man, I mean... No fantasy, nothing? No. But... Lame. Have you... Are you doing the challenge with me? The yeah, I'm doing the challenge. I'm a good boy. No porn. <laughs> Bradley, too. Chris sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Chris is weak. Why do I gotta suck with him? Chris is weak. No nog. Do it, Chris. No what? No, no nog. No nog. Dude. Yo, I just thought of this for... Whoever we do snakes giving, are we gonna do uh, Singapore slings? <gasps> do that. Now we are. Great. Yes. Please. Absolutely. I'm excited to cook up. for you fuckers. Dude, okay, are you cooking? Who's who won the competition? I don't think we talked about this with you. Yeah, we need to talk about this. Yeah. All right, talk about it. Wait, what? Who who lost the most weight out of y'all two though? Yeah, I, I, I lost. I only lost point five. Pounds. I lost five pounds. Because I lost. So I was two seventy seven. I'm lost all that weight at. 270 so seven pounds but once i started lifting i stayed at 270 started, yeah so you, you lost started the adding muscle, muscle yeah, yeah. I, lost yeah. Muscle yeah. I was starving myself which is why <laughs> i couldn't good. do the podcast that night because i was shut like shut the fuck up i was, I was, do dead. <laughs> I was doing like two days in that last Chris, week i do everything and i still do these podcasts shut the fuck up you just didn't want to come just tell me you didn't want to come and i'll and i'll be cool with it next thursday night games the falcon the falcons, the falcons. <laughs> 
The Falcons and the Panthers. <laughs> These are fucking horrible games. That's a shitty game. Don't watch it. I don't know, but I'm surprised this game is as close as it is. Can we close game. Keep, keep, I'm like gonna turn this TV off. Texans always have a tight game. Yeah, yeah, and they One always five lose. and five always yeah. have a tight game. That game's tighter no. than Roy. Yeah, <laughs> he, he I'm earlier. pretty tight. <laughs> <laughs> um, My swag. Have you been reading any books lately? Wait, 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 wait. Before we get into that, let's talk about Snake's Giving. Oh yeah. Can we do it at your house? Well, or let's s- talk. Let's talk about who's feeding who. Okay. Yeah, well, we're yeah, supposed yeah. to get a steak dinner, son. That's, That's why I was promised. We, we owe this man. We owe this man steak dinner. I was going in, son. We owe this man steak dinner. Going in. If you want to go have sickles or yeah. well, I was three. Where are we going? Texas Roadhouse. Oh, we're going to go out to eat. I was going to make it for you, but I guess if you guys want to You're going to make it? I figured it'd be cheaper, but we can go out to eat. I was going to do like last year where I did the dressing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What are we talking about, first of all? Okay, Snakesgiving. Snakesgiving. Because, all right, we'll take you to fucking Roadhouse if that's what you want. Boo. You like Roadhouse? I don't care. I don't care. What do you like? Yeah, you you, you won. You want to have you ever been to Roadhouse? Yes, I've been to Roadhouse. What the? <laughs> well, yes, I've been to Roadhouse. You don't have to get Roadhouse, dog. I, I used to get like sirloin steak. It's not like, oh my god, Roadhouse is awesome. I love it. The Roadhouse what were sirloin you goes on up. Making? I was talking about Snakesgiving. What I'm gonna make? No, what do you? What if you, you were gonna feed him? Me? Yeah, for I was gonna make sober steaks. October. I was just gonna so get what October. kind of steak? He's asking about the steak? cut. My boy wants a New York. I was gonna get some. Yeah, we can get some New York strips, some mashed potatoes, and some vegetables, and and beer. Bet and some weed probably. Uh, yeah, that too. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's a bet. All day, all day. We can all do right. that, and we okay. I can make it for you here. All right, straight in the streets. All right, deal. We'll call that a deal. Well, let's put a date on it. What's the date? Next week. Well, next week's my birthday, so I'm gonna be doing birthday things. You want to do it this weekend? Can we, well, fuck. Also, there is a date. I won't be here the 18th, 19th, and 20th. We what day is that? Weekend. That's the Saturday. I gotta go to a wedding in Waxahachie. Hey, do you gotta be here to cook That's for him? We're gonna do Thanksgiving. Can we do it at my house? Yeah. Okay. Dude, I've Stay been waiting house. to do something at your house. Yeah, let's do it at my house. Stay in your house, bro. Stay in my house. Stay in your house. Deal. All right. When? This weekend. This weekend. So. All right. Yeah. Sunday. I gotta be back. Whatever Sunday? day's the warmest. Let's do it. Sun- oh, he's got sipping drip Sunday. Oh, sipping drip. What we can do Sunday night? I don't have to go get Gavin Sunday evening. We'll do a Sunday evening because right. my sister will be. My and I'll make sure that we're fully equipped with everything we need to keep Sunday the night. vibe going. Do y'all know if Sunday are y'all going to be out of town Thanksgiving? This Sunday, no, I'll be here. I will. You will be here. I'll be out of town. You'll be out of town. So we when can't do leaving? Thanksgiving the weekend before Thanksgiving. Wednesday? Yeah, I I just yeah. got reminded yeah. yesterday. Yeah. I got reminded yesterday that um, you don't have to go. It's my cousin, so I kind of. Oh, no, exactly. No, you don't. You definitely don't have to go. It's, you don't have to go to that. How close are you with this cousin? Have When's the last ever, time you talked to the. Have y'all ever crossed streams? Cross streams? Maybe. If you never crossed the stream, then it's not that close. Might I add, just to throw it out there, I've had two friends get married and I didn't get invited to their wedding. And I was pretty upset. Damn. Did you ever cross streams with them? Yeah. One of my friends. <laughs> One of my friends put me on game like when we were oh, when I was a senior on a lot of things. So yeah, we yeah. had a lot of good memories. Yeah, he, he didn't invite, invite you me. to the wedding. He Did he not him. invite you to the wedding? It's because he he's embarrassed. Get jacked up? No, it's because he's embarrassed because he has a podcast. He's like that weirdo has a podcast. Probably. I'm not gonna invite him. Bro, who would get embarrassed about that? But the thing about cool. that, the it's jacked up thing is, me and him used to get fucked up all the time. I was there when he met the woman he married. Who? Call him out. No, call. She him changed out. him. That's what happened. <laughs> She no, you know what him. happened is he had a kid, and then we couldn't stop. We st- we had to stop hanging. The kid out. changed him. Yeah, yeah. Kids like, will do that. Aw. My kids changed me. That's why I'm trying to be cool again. You are cool, bro. As soon as it, I had kids, I can feel a... myself into becoming less cool. You're, You're not. Well, they're like, growing up. So no, now. No, 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 I'm on the rebound. Cooler. Trust me. No. You get less cool when you become a dad. Thirty-two. Oh, you got plenty of time to be cool. Yeah, I'm working. Once you hit forty, you're not cool anymore. I know. Yeah, I got a little bit of time. I got about eight years. So. Not this weekend. What if we did next weekend? Yeah. What, Thanksgiving? Yeah. Fine, let's do it. So we're well, feeding so when it, All right, go. We're ahead. feeding Chris steak at my house Sunday. this Sunday. And then next, we're doing Thanksgiving the next weekend. Next Saturday cuz I want to drink. Okay. Next Saturday. Can I bring Gavin? Cuz I'll have Gavin. Yes, that's what I was going to ask. Are we are we including oh, yeah. are We coming here? Are we, I was going to see if we could do it at Chris's. You want to do it at my house? Are you going to cook at my house? I'll bring the food over. I'll make the turkey and the mashed Done. potatoes. Done. You can make the stuffing. I can bring whatever I need to bring beer or whatever. 
repeat weed. it. I'll bring beer and weed. I'll make the side. And then Singapore slings. We'll see. We'll, we'll I'll make mashed do. potatoes, the turkey, and uh, probably one other side. We'll do it at my house. Absolutely. Jen will be there. And then uh, Jen's gotta bring some I'll probably invite my friend Tyler, who's a $25 member of the Patreon. Yep. So I'm, I'm feeding all the all Patreon guys. members. I'm are invited. Go, I was going to do that because I'm, I'm, I'm giving back to all the all the snake pit people. So Yeah, absolutely. I'm with it. I would love that. I think it would be cool. Hey, and all snake, snake Pit subscribers get a free hand job from me. <laughs> what if they're a woman? I, I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, dude. I do have calluses. <laughs> My hands are not the prettiest. I have calluses. <laughs> I will decline such offer. <laughs> fine. Are you going to be here for I'm just trying to get back to the people. Why are you yeah, asking? Yeah. yeah. Is there a reason you're asking? Yeah, bro. Absolutely. Because I want to go see a screening of Enter the Dragon, the Bruce Lee movie. That'd be cool. Ooh, that's yeah. on the 23rd. Yo, shout out the to day my boy before Derek. Thanksgiving. I mean, um, the day shout before? Out. Yeah. I, I got to give a shout out to Derek real quick. Derek, my business partner from season three, the reason that me and him are so cool is because he invited me over for uh, Thanksgiving one year. When you were in when Dallas? I, when I lived in Dallas. All right, tell me you. Yeah, that's my boy. So shout out to Derek. <laughs> Thanksgiving always means something to me. Nice. Right in the heart. Yeah, wherever you are. <laughs> Shout out to you, dude. Shout out to John Redcorn. Uh, to Fools and Ghouls. Yeah, man. I, I was kind of disappointed that I didn't get to meet any new people. I don't feel like I met that anybody. That was a cool thing. Some of these people, I was like, I was trying not to be a dare. I was like, how'd you hear about this party? Yeah. And like, somebody told us to come. I was like, damn, that's cool. I yeah. See new faces and we got to see So you got to hop around and talk to some different people you never met? Mm -hmm. Cool. I'm glad somebody did, yeah. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) I drank a White Claw for the first time ever. How'd that go? White Claws Uh, get you trashed. uh, That's probably why I was so fucked up, too. (laughs) Yeah. If you start mixing a bunch of stuff. I was drinking, me and Bradley were drinking Lone Stars. Then I started drinking your brother's beer. Yeah. Then I started drinking White Claws. Then I started drinking Hennessy. All the while I'm drinking Lone Star. Beer before liquor. No bueno. He left a whole box in my fridge that got taken today or yesterday. Oh, there was still beer in there? There was like three beers in there. Oh, man. Not a lot. Give a fuck. I finished them. I thought you did. That's what. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. You left the box, you Damn. bastard. Damn. <laughs> was, it wasn't in the box. The beers were like on the top shelf. Yeah. Because Bradley brought a twelve pack and I brought a twenty four. And I was there giving was a, a twenty four back. I was giving yeah, a few people there. beers. It was nice, but they took the fridge. That sucks. Yeah, we need another fridge. So Wait, so subscribe to the Patreon so we can get another fridge. So why was that the fridge? So it wasn't mine. It was uh, it was Justin's. Justin he uh, got a place, moved it over. I had to take off the racism as bad I was about sticker. to ask you if you took the yeah, stickers I off. I took the stickers off. <laughs> I goo them or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, Roe is... Any books lately? Late, I've been reading Empire of the Summer Moon, so what I'll do is... Uh, like I'll, reading your audio book? No, I've been reading, reading. And that's why it's taking me so long is because I'll reread. Like if I stop on page 25, I'll go back to like page 20 mm-hmm. and then read forward and I just kind of take three steps forward one step back as i go through there because it's so fascinating to me dude like number one the land that we currently occupy here on the southern plains was the last frontier for native americans and it was the last place that the u.s army fought against uh the natives and it was literally like right here in lubbock and that's just fucking dope and then you got the Buffalo Soldiers, you got the Texas Rangers, the Rangers. you have all these different uh, types of characters who were forged from the Wild West, and so it's just fucking fascinating to me. Like, it takes me it takes me to a different place completely, because I, I I like to think about just like how do I explain this? So take Roy's front yard for example, and go back fifty years, mm-hmm. and what does that look like? Maybe that that big ass tree's a little smaller. Go back a hundred years, that big ass tree's a little sapling. Go back another hundred years, you know none of these houses are here. It's just oh. it's just the plains. It's just grassland, flat grass. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I just like to imagine like the things that were happening in this same space, just a different time. And it blows my mind, dude. That shit. I don't know. I, I'm fascinated by it. It's pretty cool. Seriously. My uh, one of my professors told me this story. It's kind of crazy the way he said it. Like he felt like guilty about it. Uh, but 
he said when he went to tech back in the 70s uh they uh were doing some kind of experiments like on land because he was a geology professor Mm -hmm. so what is now lake allen henry yeah they would go out there and dig yep well uh they were studying some kind of rock and they got this boulder and they flipped it over well when they flipped it over there was a human skeleton well, this human skeleton had some kind of jewelry, some kind of jewelry, yeah, and jewelry. And they, uh, they were students. Well, what they did, well, they, they said what was crazy was there was that, and then where the body was, there was a lot of like old, like you could tell it was like corn, like from way back when. Yeah. So what would happen was, I guess these natives they would s- store like food under these rocks so when they were traveling that's where they would like yep. eat they'd have caches of food yeah and so this huge this skeleton was under there but they went straight to the professor and they said but you know like this is probably like native land well during the 70s that's when lake alan henry like those houses were starting to be built yep well he told them well let's cover it back up there's been a lot of money invested in this land so it's probably best that we don't even say anything. Yeah. And they picked up and they left. And wherever that is now, that's all under Lake Allen Henry. So there's no telling, like, right. what is under Lake Allen Henry. Yeah, that's wild. <laughs> yeah, that's just crazy. I do like Lake Allen Henry. It's I love that shit. Mm-hmm. Over there. Just don't be surprised. You feel a lot. I went with my crew. <laughs> Over there once to search for arrowheads. Yeah, I've been there like 15 times this year. Yeah, he found a lot of them. Oh, he's a huge collection of arrowheads. Are you serious? Native American artifacts. See, that's something I'm going to get into. It's called rock hounding, and rock you can hounding. yeah, and you could basically you're looking for arrowheads. You're looking he's for knives. I'm, now I'm, I'm just remembering this. He had like a fucking like a knife that they had made. Not even an arrowhead. It was fucking cool. What? He didn't let us have it. I wanted it so bad. He had like a. You could see where Can they you get worked. him on the podcast. No, he's crazy. He found it at Lake Elgin. <laughs> <laughs> he had actually he had a he had a whole his whole like you know the drugs led him to he was talking to us about how it was the devil and all this but he had the shit and he had a, actually like a rock where they would he had the rock that they would use to he's saying that the devil went, would lead him to he, the he artifacts? would talk about the devil and how the devil these guys were the devil and this was God so he was crazy but like the artifacts are real was he smoking crack and looking for arrowheads I think he was doing meth. He was smoking meth and looking for arrowheads. Well, you know, you, when you Dude, do that's it, a movie, bro. But he would take us, and it was crazy. It was fun. And he was just old. Yeah, I don't know if I should be. That's <laughs> fucking dope. Who he is. You need but to have yeah. him on the pod. No, he's no, because he's he's sober and clean now. But you can't really come back from that. Oh yeah. You know, he's crazy. Yeah. But I remember seeing the rock that he would um that they would sharpen, sharpen it on. Yeah, he had all kinds of like shit, and he had like tomahawk heads, like what? little pieces of tomahawk heads, a bunch of arrowheads. The knife was one of the coolest ones I've ever seen. That's incredible. That was really fucking cool. And I forgot about that. I hope he still has that shit. I hope he didn't throw it away or anything. I forgot about that. It was It was like, it wasn't Lake Allen Henry. I'd take that back. It was uh, White River Lake. Yeah. We'd go. I guess he knew the guys whose land it was. White and River. let us go over there. Dude, that's so badass. Literally, like 45 minutes away. And you should fucking. We need to go do that. I'm down. It was crazy because he, he was crazy. I'll give you that. But like, I would walk and I would just walk right over him. And he'd be like, look, there's one right he, we could spot it like that, man. It was weird. It's cool. Just, on, just yeah. on the topic of Native Americans, this Halloween I watched uh, The Shining, mm-hmm. and you've seen The Shining, right? I haven't. You have not. It's okay. A good movie. I need to see it. Uh, That's scary. <laughs> so I mean, I'm not really giving anything away, but you know, it's there's a lot of imagery in, involved with it. Well, there's a lot of the only image I can imagine is that one guy's face. He's kind of bald. He's like. Yeah. Who is that guy? Uh, Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson. But uh, just like the imagery about it, uh, because Stanley Kubrick, he did a lot of like uh, messages that are like behind that you kind of just have to. Okay, subliminal stuff. Yeah, and you could tell he's trying to talk about the genocide of Native Americans. Yeah. Because they're in this hotel, and the hotel has a lot of Native American imagery. So me watching it this time, I kind of like took on that view and it's a very different experience when you watch it gotcha. thinking that i need to check it out yeah, yeah i know it's, it's a classic crazy. i know it's a like classic new, new mexico and arizona and colorado it's a lot more native american so i've been to some like really fancy native american spots ran by white people mm-hmm. but that shit's expensive like the yeah. silver and the turquoise 
Hundreds I, of dollars. I went to this one Native American spot where, like, it it's hard to describe I, without giving it away. But, like, there's, it's in New Mexico. But you stand in the center of the spot, I guess you could say. Somebody can go over into the corner and you can whisper, like, secrets to each other. Super dope. It's oh, really and they can cool. hear you? From yes. far away? Yes, bro. It's really, 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 really cool. You know what book mm. I'm about it's to crack open? Moment. I was thinking about it in the Bible. You're going to crack open the Bible? I'm to read the Bible. Do it. I'm excited to read that thing. So it would... What are you going to crack open? Like what part? I'm going to start. Genesis read the whole thing. chapter 1. Bro, don't start In the beginning. Genesis. Don't start from Genesis. I have bro, never so read the Bible. Bible. I want to read the Bible. Start from James. <laughs> This is I all have a Catholic Bible. This is all I'm going to tell you. When you when you read the Bible, you need to understand. <laughs> okay, different. you need to understand the context within <laughs> which it was written in, the context, the time, but also its allegories and metaphors. So it's not meant to be taken literally. Yeah, I'm excited to read it all, but I'm excited to read about Jesus. Oh yeah, that's good. Jesus is good. Starting John. I'm gonna start. I'm, I'm gonna read the whole thing, but I'm, I'm excited. Yes, you just, so, just, I'm just telling you. For you to say you're gonna read the whole thing, you're starting in the Old Testament. That's gonna be rough as fuck. Right. That, that's what I'm saying. Don't, don't start in the Old Testament. I mean, I read like, the first you, page. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. yeah but the yeah. Fr- actually, Genesis is good compared to the rest of it. Right. Once you start to get into like the kings Old Testament and numbers and, and stuff, bro, cult it's like, like super. Oh, right. I want to be a cult leader for sure. You might need to get an audio book. There's audio books of the Bible, yeah. right? I remember yeah. when I made my confirmation, somebody got me this really nice Bible. So. I'm like, ah, I might this is well what I'm telling you. you eventually, you're going to get to the genealogy. A lot of it's genealogy, and it's like so and so was the son of so and so, who was the son of so and so, who was the son of so, and it goes on and on and on. That shit's annoying as fuck. On to the break of dawn, and it, it's yeah, not. It's not. Maybe got it it's going not on. A fun read. They're not encouraging. It's not a fun read. I'm going to read it. I'm just telling you, as read somebody who's parts. never read the Bible, you're going to run into that in the Old Testament. If you crack open the first page of the Bible, you're going to go to Genesis, and, that, and Genesis is okay, but it gets it gets bad. What if I me. become like a Southern Baptist preacher? That would be dope. Oh, I watched a badass documentary like on Westboro Hulu. Westboro Baptist. I, no, I, hey no. guys, <laughs> if you have, if, if you have preach, Hulu, I preach love. If you have Hulu, go watch uh, God Forbid on Hulu, and it's about these evangelicals. Uh, oh, where are they from? Virginia, and they run the biggest Christian university in the nation's private private school. But they were some freaks, bro. The dude and his wife were trying to get this young... Or they did. They got this young guy to come back to the hotel room and he would fuck the dude's wife while the guy recorded. And this guy was like one of the most respected evangelical preachers in the whole country. And he endorsed Trump and all this kind of shit. It's depressing. Look into it. What is that guy's name? His name is... Something Farwell Jr. Let me see. Gary Farwell Jr. Gary Farwell Jr. is a cuck. I can never understand like how people get into that like cuck old like that they enjoy. That's gross, that they bro. Enjoy watching their wife, their wife. Nah, I ain't else. with it, bro. It's because they're betas. And you know what? And yeah, honestly, it's there if is somebody betas. asked me to fuck their wife, I wouldn't. You wouldn't? No. What if she was I think hot? That's weird. <laughs> nah. I, I wouldn't my, either. My girlfriend, at the time, she had gotten offered that her and her friend. And she didn't do it, but her friend did, and he, and he was telling me about the family. And like, this man's a respected man. Yeah. In Lubbock, and he and has, like, a wife and kids. Yeah, they're freaks. It's gross, fucking, bro. And it, he was, like, it recording is like, it. Uh, well, I don't know if he was recording it, but yeah, he was, like, probably. watching him. Dang, I wish I had like, another one Encouraging it. And yeah. Like, that's, I don't, I mean, that's I guess gross. some people enjoy it. Like, I don't understand that. There's yeah. a weird it's beta a It's a kink. People have kinks. Yeah, yeah, no, people, everybody has kinks. That's, that's it, baby. We done. 